Hi, this is Gary Mello from Sentinel One. In this video, I'd like to discuss some new functionality with Central Park, more in particular on our deep visibility and the concept of watch lists. What watch lists allows you to do is to specify uh, certain criteria within deep visibility and based off of that criteria to either notify or basically regenerate that search very easily and quickly. So in this example, what I'd like to do is to come up here in a deep visibility and maybe the example is I want to be notified anytime one of my users accesses the website Pastebin. So what I need to do within deep visibility is come over here and then basically specify my uh, criteria. So that URL is simply just pastebin.com. And then I'm just going to generate that search. And you can see I have a bunch of results here. Now what I want to do is to save this search by simply going over here where it says save new set. From here, I put um, a name or a label in for this. So I'm going to say pastebin.com. Next, I want to decide if I want to be notified via email when we detect this, and I do. And then from here, I select my timing rate, and I'm going to do that for every three hours. And then lastly, I just need to decide who do I want to notify when this event happens. I'm going to send this to myself and hit save. Now what you're seeing here is an example of an email notification I got based off that search or that watch list I just created around pastebin.com. I can see I got 79 results here during that time frame. And if I click here, it's basically going to regenerate that search right within the Sentinel One console. So you can see here I got a bunch of results based off that pastebin.com query. I'd also like to point out that the protocol this happened over was HTTPS. Again, remember, part of the unique functionality of Sentinel-1's deep visibility solution is that we have the ability to scan or inspect what's happening over SSL. Okay, from here, let's look at a couple other examples I've created via the watch list. Um, to pull up my watch list, I can simply come over here and see all of the ones I've currently created. Um, another example I have is maybe I want to see anyone in my environment who's run Nmap um, and be notified when that happens. So I can see here I pulled up that filter set or that watch list, and now I can see all the results here. Again, remember, another unique thing about deep visibility is I can't not only just search, but I can also take action directly within this interface. So if I click here, I see that example of ZenMap has been run. If I come to my actions, I could mark this as a threat and add it to the blacklist. I also have the ability to do a disconnect from network or a network isolation uh, while I'm analyzing these forensics or these details. A couple of the quick examples I made here is maybe I want to know if someone installed uh, the Tor browser in my environment. And if I click there, you'll notice um, I can see Tor was actually running my environment. It's giving the name, the ID, along with the command line arguments. Then the last one maybe within my environment I want to point out is maybe uh, torrents are a problem in my environment. So I want to basically key off or look of, look up if anyone in my environment has actually run or generated uTorrent. That concludes this video on deep visibility and watch list. Thank you very much for watching.